Okay, so what is this? Uh, M2A1 half track. M2A1 half track. Plus the half track. What year? I think it's in 1941. Maybe 42. Built, sure. built by? Harvester? Uh, uh, Harvester International. Oh no, sorry, this is a white. White. White truck. Are they still in business? White? Uh, Volvo bottom now. In front you have a winch. Hey, hey. Don't we all? Oh. And you can close these vents? Right. To protect them from being shot. Let's see. So you have your ropes and your camo netting on here. And then what's this blanket? Cover. Canvas cover for the back. Oh, canvas cover. And what's this? What's the markings on this? So this is the serial number. And the S again stands for? Radio interference suppressed. And up on top you have a 50 caliber repo? Correct. Here's the inside. What's this OS indicator? Is that RPMs? So standard shift four on the floor. What's this uh, canister under the radio interference? Frequently out, some sort of radio suppressor. Huh. And this was a mortar truck, you said. Supposed to be this. So, and here's the tracks. And what's unique about the tracks? Anything? Pure rubber with front um, drive, with front sprocket drive. Correct. And what are these little wheels called? Road wheels or bogey wheels. 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 So it has a differential like right before the cab. Huh. Ammo cans and extra wheels? Landmines. Oh, landmines. Blankets for the crew. And a saw for sawing trees. Correct. And a cover with a cover. Those are the for the cover in the back? These bars? Yeah, right. So 35 mile an hour maximum speed. What are the markings on the back? Fifth division. Uh, Fifth division. 85th company. company. Uh, that's the ninth vehicle of the ninth reconnaissance. And how many vehicles would a uh, be in a hundreds of being at the division? So more ammo cans, more land, oh, uh, there's an extra wheel. So what is something like this, if one wanted to purchase something like this, what would it cost? Maybe 40,000. 40, 40,000. Back then? Today. Back then, maybe the same, <laughs> right. in adjusted dollars. <laughs> yeah. So you welded on this machine gun turret thing, or would that have been on it? No, it makes it a different model. It's called the pulp. And whites for water? Correct. And this is the battery? Correct. Also 6 volt? No, that's a 12. It's converted, you converted it? Converted to 12 volt? No, it's always been a 12 because oh. the radios. Nice. And Kilroy was here too? Uh-huh. He's everywhere. And then in the back, just seating for, seating for 6? Uh, more like 10. I guess. Do these sides fold down? No. No. These not are on this model. What are these little for? For the strapping that's top? On the canvas. Did you ever put the top on? No. And that, you don't know the horsepower you said. It's a six cylinder? Right. Great. And this was normal markings for a... Wow, that's pretty heavy. That was hot. Be careful, it's hot. So this is an oil? Correct. That's the oil air filter? Correct. The single, looks like a, almost looks like it's baked like. Oh. It's just black, blacked in steel. All right. So it's uh, one, two, six, inline six. Yep. And they're not gravity fed, they have fuel pumps. They have mechanical fuel pumps. Mechan they that is a pretty big engine block. Is the front uh, both two-wheel drive? You can, it, right now it's just connected, but yeah, it, it can be power driven. So you're just, you're just running off the back of the track? Correct. Have you tried it? Are you sure this works? The, the front? Yeah, no, I never did. I didn't want to hook up the drive lines too much of the house. Oh, there's no, so there's no shaft? No. Have you used the winch before? 
And these stars are standard, that's accurate how they paint them? Correct. If they went to Europe, they, it's called the Invasion Star. Oh. That's variation. If they went to the Pacific, they would have just some stars. Oh. Barbed wire be useful? Uh, for the cows, <laughs> oh, so the cows don't run away. To set up your trail? The purpose of barbed wire? 